Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have two really fun DIYs planned, but before we get started, I wanna give a huge thank you to Poshmark for sponsoring today's video. In this video, I'll be sharing two really fun modern planters, as well as one that doubles as an umbrella stand. If you haven't yet found me on Instagram, you can find me at Valerie Aguirre, where I share a lot of fun and behind the scenes there too. So any good DIY project always starts off at hardware store. This was Home Depot. So I went to the planter section to kind of look at what they had. So I found these black modern planters. These were 96 a piece. They had a lot of different variations, some round ones, but in the end I decided to go with this really modern style. So I am working on a really fun project. So these are not for my backyard, but they are for another really fun project that we have coming up. So after I grabbed that planter, I went to the pipe section and these are pre-cut pipes at Home Depot. So this is two inches by two feet for just about $8. They're pre-cut, it makes it so easy. So you guys can see my idea here for an umbrella stand. I will elaborate on that later, but my vision was definitely coming to life here. So once I got all my materials home, what I wanted to do was kind of put everything together. So with this planter, it comes with this little insert, which you're going to need. This is what will hold your PVC pipe in place. It just snaps in, it almost has like a little snap in there uh, once you get it all the way down to the bottom. So then you're gonna take your PVC pipe and put it right in that little hole and it stays up pretty much on its own. And in order to keep it staying that way, we're going to add cement and get it in there really good so it'll weigh down the planter and that PVC pipe for your umbrella. So I just use quick setting concrete. You can also use Quickrete. That is the knockoff brand that I use, but it all works. Add some water and I really just kind of throw it all in. And then I take an old pole. This is an old um, like closet dowel. Um, I just keep this for mixing concrete in the garage and mix it up really good. And yeah, it's super, super simple. So I used half a bag of concrete. You can use more if you want a really solid planter. I felt like half a bag was really good um, and it keeps the weight of the umbrella in there. So after that was completely dry, I added some garden soil or dirt, depending on what you're going to be putting in there. For my project, I'm just gonna be using faux succulents to make things really, really simple and maintenance free. But before I show you the final reveal, I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about Poshmark. I first learned about Poshmark when I started buying designer jeans. I hardly ever pay full price or retail price for my jeans now, I buy everything on Poshmark. Poshmark is the easiest way to sell items from your closet and even from your home. I love going on and seeing all the different categories. There's baskets, home decor, art, you name it, it's on there. And it's almost like antiquing or thrifting. There's just so much on there. It's really fun to just go through everything. Poshmark is a really good way to earn a little bit of extra cash by selling things around the house. I'm going to be listing some things that I have around my house. I have some vases, some bowls, a really cute little wooden box here. It has the cutest little lid. It's like a little carved box, some hand-thrown pottery. I have some books. I have these really, really gorgeous marble salt and pepper shakers, some vases, some little primitive type bowls. So you can shop my closet at Val Aguirre and I'm gonna be listing some of these items at $3, you guys. So this is going to be a really great little sale that I have going on. So definitely check it out. I will leave a direct link to my closet in the description box below. And if you haven't yet downloaded the Poshmark app, you can do so. The app is available in the US, Canada, Australia, and India. So one of my favorite things about using Poshmark to sell some items from my home is it's so simple and self-explanatory. You can upload pictures right from your phone. 
you can literally just snap a picture right into the Poshmark app and then it will put it right into a listing where you just write up a little bit about the item that you wanted to sell and it's that simple. One of my favorite things to look for are kind of really unique items. I love hand-thrown pottery. So you can type in hand-thrown pottery. You can find things like geodes, crystals, used coffee table books for a fraction of the price. So use my link in the description box below and download Poshmark today. So I'm gonna finish up this planter. I'm gonna take that sticker right off the front. I found these little faux succulents online. And what I love about these is that they are maintenance free. So these won't require any water and you don't have to do faux succulents. You could do real plants. If you wanted to do real plants, you could easily drill a little hole in the back that would allow for drainage. And then that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna add my umbrella. I love how solid this umbrella stand feels. It really makes it feel like that umbrella is not going anywhere and it's just a really solid, heavy planter slash umbrella stand. So all we need now is a little bit of sun. Like I said, this planter will not be staying in my yard. It's actually for a really special project that we have coming up, so make sure you're subscribed for that. So the next project I have is a really fun modern planter. I love this modern planter that Holly and Brad have in their house from our foam farmhouse. And then this one I actually found on wayfair.com. However, the price point is a little bit out of my budget, making them about $400 for two. So I figured I could probably make something like that for a fraction of the price. So off to Home Depot we go, and I found this plywood panel for $47.55. The price of wood makes me cringe. It has gone up so much, it's crazy. But I'm going to grab two of these, which will put my project at probably a total of about $150 total. I'm gonna grab two of these plywood boards and then six two by fours as well. So once I got home, I got started. These are eight feet um, two by fours and they're just the Douglas fir. So what I did is I cut each of them evenly in half and that gave me a total of four boards. So I'm trying to do this as simple and as cost effective as I can. So like I said, I just marked them at the halfway mark and then that gave me four boards that are going to completely mirror each other, if that makes sense. So I drew out a little diagram for you guys. If you're interested in making this project, um, you can see all the measurements and everything that I used for this project. So to build the frame, I actually did five small cuts of 14 inches, and those are going to be for like the center part of the frame, if that makes sense. You'll see it in one second. So I just cut uh, five of those and then I put two on one frame and then three on another frame. So this is kind of a 3D diagram that I made. So it's length times width times height. So you can screenshot this if you're interested in making these exact measurements. So these are the two frames that are going to mirror each other. So one is going to be for the base, the bottom, and I have a little helper there that had just woken up. And then that second one is going to be for the top. So I am also going to cut four legs and the length on these is 32 inches in height. So now that I have those legs attached, I just screw them on with wood screws. It's really, really simple. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna put that right into the bottom frame, which it's actually upside down here because I have that extra little brace right in the center there, but it's actually upside down. So once I screw all of those legs in, then um, I can flip it over. So for the middle shelf, and the middle shelf is going to be what holds the plants. I wanna make sure that that's level. So I'm gonna use a little level here, make sure that my distance from the bottom to the middle is the same on both sides use my level, make sure it's even, and then screw in. I would have used three boards, but I actually ran out. So two will work perfectly fine to hold up those plants. And I just measured um, about how tall my planters are and got an idea for the distance from the middle 
to the top. Now to enclose that whole planter, I'm gonna use the plywood boards and I'm just going to use, actually Brandon is going to use my circular saw here. And once those are cut for the exact dimensions to go around, I'm gonna use my little nail gun. This one is so easy to use. This is a perfect beginner nail gun. And I'm just going to take those four panels and nail them on to the frame, super easy. So after I nail all of those panels on, I'm going to fill all of those little nail holes with the wood filler. I love this one because it's supposed to go on pink and then it dries in a natural color. I think this one must have gotten opened in the store and I brought it home. So it was already in the natural color. I think the air had gotten to it, but it still worked. And then once all of the putty is dry, I can sand it all. I went with a hundred grit and then a 120, then cleared it off with a microfiber cloth or a tack cloth and then it was ready for paint. So I just used the Sherwin-Williams Tricorn Black and this color is so good. It just made it look super modern. It's a really nice black color. It goes on super easy with a foam roller. These are my favorite rollers to use for smooth surfaces. The foam roller gives it that kind of um, sprayed effect and then I just went ahead and brushed that top trim piece these are two by sixes and then I'm going to put my snake plants in here so I bought five from Home Depot and these are very low maintenance, although you do want to keep them inside if it's going to be really cold. So I'm also going to seal this with a polyurethane, probably do maybe three or four coats just to really protect it from the elements and water. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And don't forget, you can use my link in the description box below to download Poshmark and shop my home and closet today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.